is there disunity in Team Unity? That was a question put to political analyst Peter Wickham in an interview with SK Newsline this week. Some political commentators locally are suggesting that the recent declaration by the People's Action Movement, PAM, recently that it can win an election on its own political strength, is a sign that there is some dissent among the coalition partners. But for Mr. Wickham, PAM boasting of their strength is not necessarily a sign of division. I mean, you know, the phrase a shot across the bow is always useful. And I think for them, it's, it's good to remind your coalition partners that the power that you have, um, especially when you're dealing with a coalition partner like CCM that, that has its own um, ego challenges. Uh, and then you're dealing with a situation where the smaller party has most of the power. I think the idea of sending that kind of signal is good politics to say, like, you know, if we have to, we can do. But I think that there's also a real, reality. I mean, as I said to you, just Palm has always demonstrated a high level of political maturity and understanding. Whenever it has been in government, it has been part of a coalition. And I think it understands that even though it may be growing its popularity, it has been part of a coalition. And I think it understands that even though it may be growing its popularity, that it may very well still have some chance going forward. Just bear in mind that the Labour Party will not always be as weak as it is. If, if the Labour Party is led by different leadership, um, I suspect a lot of the challenges that it's currently facing will go away, and it may very well be a game changer. And the three parties that form Team Unity may need to reassess their um, strategies now because they may have a real battle to do. That declaration follows political conventions held earlier this year by both PAM and the People's Labour Party PLP, coalition partners in the Team Unity government. At the PLP convention, guest speaker Sharon Ann Gopal Matt Nichols gave an endorsement for PLP leader, Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris, to get a third term in office. I get, I get this business of loyalty and the business of honoring your word, but I need you to consider that. And I, and I know that the wider society would want you to consider that as well. Another thing that I want to raise before wrapping up is the issue of in understanding coalitions, you have to understand that there's no such thing as it is my turn. Leadership doesn't work that way. I must tell you right now, this is a gross misconception that seemed to resonate in people's mind that if we have a three-party coalition and one party got it this wrongs, the next one's supposed to get it the next wrongs. This is not how it works. But this ruffled some feathers among coalition partners, mostly PAM supporters. And this became apparent in the PAM convention weeks later after the PLP convention. As I make my bid for the next prime minister of this federation, I ask for the full support of CCM. The Honourable Prime Minister has left. The Honourable Prime Minister has left. But to him, I also say that just as he became the third Prime Minister of this country, it is my intention to be the fourth Prime Minister of this country. Some see this as a sign of disunity in the Unity Coalition. But Mr. Wickham sees this as pretty much normal. I'm comfortable for the time being that, you know, Dr. Harris is comfortable in his own mind that he wants to, to um, take this as his last term because this would make sense. But when, when the leadership comes up for review, uh, it's an open race again. There, there could be another person in Team Unity that could take the leadership. They could agree on a leader from CCM or they could agree on a leader from PAM. Certainly, I think it would be most logical that the Palm being the, sec the largest group within the team unity uh, organization should take it. But at the same time, these things never go on logic. You know, uh, there were good, strong reasons why they identified Dr. Harris. If the immunity identifies an alternative leader that they believe can lead the coalition successfully, um, then, then, then so be it. Uh, my, my only concern would be that the, the Palm group, I think, has been long suffering, they waited. Uh, and, and there would be a feeling by now that certainly someone from within the Palm organization should be considered for a future leadership race. The Team Unity government has as its good governance agenda and in the Charleston Accord, 
a two-term limit for prime ministers. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.